Ovase Plus Shampoo is used to treat scalp conditions such as dandruff and seborrhea. These issues can be aggravated by bacteria on the skin, and this shampoo works by preventing the growth of certain skin bacteria. It contains sodium sulfacetamide, which is a type of drug known as a sulfa antibiotic. It's important to note that this medication should not be used in children under 2 months old. When using Ovase Plus Shampoo, it's important to follow the instructions provided by your healthcare professional for best results. It's typically recommended to use the shampoo as directed, usually a few times a week, depending on the severity of the condition. Always consult with your doctor for the best time to use this shampoo for your specific scalp condition. This shampoo is specifically designed to be used on the hair and scalp. Before using, make sure to shake the bottle well. Wet your hair and scalp with water, then apply the product and massage it over your entire scalp until it lathers. Rinse it off completely. Your doctor will provide specific instructions on how often to use this medication, but it is usually at least two times a week. Avoid getting the medication in your eyes, nose, or mouth. If it does happen, rinse with plenty of water. The frequency of use will depend on your medical condition and how you respond to treatment. Using this medication regularly is important to get the most benefit from it. Do not use more than directed, as it will not improve your condition any faster and may increase your risk of side effects. If your condition does not improve after a few weeks, be sure to inform your doctor. Stop using the medication and contact your doctor immediately if your condition worsens or if you experience a rash or other serious side effects. For more information on potential side effects, refer to the side effects section. If you experience skin or scalp irritation, stop using Ovase Plus Shampoo and consult your doctor or pharmacist. It's important to note that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. However, prolonged use may lead to a fungal skin infection, so be sure to contact your doctor if you notice any new or worsening skin or scalp symptoms. Rarely, serious side effects such as joint pain, rash on the face, signs of infection, signs of anemia, unusual bleeding or bruising, signs of liver problems, or mouth sores may occur. If you experience any of these, stop using the product and seek medical attention immediately. While a serious allergic reaction is rare, seek immediate medical help if you notice symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. If you experience side effects in the US, you can report them to the FDA, and in Canada, you can report them to Health Canada. Before using Ovase Plus Shampoo, make sure to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you are allergic to it, sulfa antibiotics, or if you have any other allergies. This product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. It's important to discuss your medical history with your doctor or pharmacist before using this medication. Also, let your doctor know if there are any areas of skin near where the product will be applied that are cut, scraped, burned, or infected, as injured skin may absorb more of the product, increasing the chance of serious side effects. Before having surgery, inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, use this medication only when clearly needed and discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It is uncertain whether this drug passes into breast milk, so consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When using Ovase Plus Shampoo, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with Ovase Plus Shampoo include skin products containing silver. Make sure to consult with your healthcare provider before using Ovase Plus Shampoo if you are using any other skin products containing silver. If this medication is swallowed, it can be harmful. If someone has taken too much and is experiencing severe symptoms such as passing out or difficulty breathing, call 911. Otherwise, contact a poison control center immediately. U.S. residents can reach their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222.
Canadian residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include nausea, vomiting, pink or bloody urine, and changes in the amount of urine. Do not share Ovase Plus Shampoo with others. This product may temporarily stain clothing, but the stain will usually wash out with normal cleaning. If you forget to use Ovase Plus Shampoo, use it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, then just skip the missed one and continue with your regular schedule. Don't use double the amount to make up for the missed dose. Make sure to store Ovase Plus Shampoo at room temperature and avoid freezing or exposing it to high heat. It may darken slightly over time, but this does not affect its effectiveness or safety. Keep it away from children and pets, and when it is expired or no longer needed, be sure to properly discard it. Consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to dispose of it. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.